guys. Oh, snap. It is a rainy day here in Houston. And um, it is very cold. And I'm on the move. But I like to make videos when it, when it hits me, when it prompts me, when spirit talks, as we should say. My grandmother, this is going to be an auto talk video. My grandmother has been pulling at my coattail for about a week. And I really, really ought to be ashamed of myself because she's probably been trying to tell me something that I need to know to get to the next level with something that I'm probably trying to accomplish. Oh boy. It's not that I'm too busy, but sometimes I'm just exhausted. After I do what everything I have to do within the day, I become exhausted. If my Uber app goes off, I'm going to have to cut this video short. So this is my quick altar talk. How dare I tell you guys this and I'm not following my own rules. But I'm telling you the repercussions when you don't follow protocol. When the ancestors want to talk to you, they need to talk to you. You should talk to them when they need to talk to you. You should listen. <clears throat> and my grandmother's been trying to tell me something um, for a week now. And I, I know, I know, oh my gosh, her spirit is so strong. When she first passed away, I told my mother, I was like, she won't go away. Like, she won't, she won't scoot over. You know, she's like, because my grandmother always kissed me. We had a little song we sang. You know, I was like really close to her. And so um, she would just sing to me and kiss me all over my face. And I, when she wants to tell me something, I feel all of that. <laughs> and I used to tell her as a kid, like, move over. Your makeup is breaking my face out and stuff like that. So she's been trying to contact me. And I've been feeling her sitting so close to me. And I'm like, can you scoot over just a little bit? I know you're here. Like, it's so, I love it. People think it's weird when spirits contact them. But I just love it. I love my grandma so much. And I know she's trying to protect me and tell me good things to get me to the next level. Um, I don't know why I haven't. i just been so caught up with this Astros Closet business. And I'm not making excuses, but this is what's been happening for a week. Trying to do this vending stuff and website and uh, bills. So, you know what I mean? I know that she's trying to come to me and tell me something that's going to lighten the load. Damn it, Uber. Let's see how that cut off on me. But that's what happens. You know, I know that it's things that I'm trying to do and accomplish, but I have to listen to them when they try to talk to me. So, you guys, don't let it so long go by without them talking to you and getting what you need done. I got to take this Uber call, but I'm going to pick this video back up. I'll probably merge the three together. But um, it's raining, it's cold here, and I just heard that in Austin they don't have any water. Um, they're poisoning the water supply, I guess. That's what's going on right now. So, I hope everything works out. I don't really know what's going on with it. I haven't heard it. I just got a text from somebody who always informs me on the current. So, you guys have a good day. Peace and blessings to you. Love y'all. So, I said that my grandmother had been pulling at my coattail all week. And I am taking the time to honor her now. Before I even set this small altar up for her, I already knew what she was trying to tell me. Here I have rose petals out for her because I love her. I have two different types of roses. Um, this is tobacco. This is just all tobacco. And these are pictures of her out at the pool when she was on vacation. I took this picture of her at her apartment. This was like the most recent. This is her out somewhere, living it up somewhere, having a good time traveling. And this one. Okay, it took a picture and it's recording. <laughs> this one is her traveling as well. So, I already know what she wanted to talk to me about. 
I got it. I got it before I even set this altar up. I knew. But I still have to take the time to honor her and do what's right. There are some things I've been thinking about, contemplating, and uh, she had a message for me. So I appreciate the message. I love the fact that the message was honest, it was strong, it was truthful, and um, it was just calming to know that she's able to still break through. I mean, she comes to me stronger than anyone. When she has something to say, she has something to say. And I feel it, I can hear it. And it is just really amazing. So I'll probably add on to this as time goes by. But these are the things that I found today. My dishwasher is in the back washing dishes for everybody. <laughs> this dishwasher is loud. But um, I do have my uh, Palo Santo friend in here. So I just wanted to take some time. I put her ice water out here. Man, her and my mom loved ice water. So ice water it is. Uh, I don't have a spirit right now for her. Which Bacardi is her favorite, but I've promised her a drink. So at least I gave her the tobacco. I'm pretty sure she's okay with that. But this is what I mean when I say this is important. This time here is important. And while these candles burn down, I will sit here and spend some time and discuss some things and take in what I'm supposed to take in you know these pictures explain someone's life pictures explain a life very well this is her by the pool this is her in her home still being a diva you know this is her traveling you know so I already know what she's telling me I already know the same thing she told me when she was alive there's just some things I gotta get together there's some things that's going to go past me and I'm not going to be able to grab, grab them if I don't do what I need to do. So, I love her for it. I love her for it. She came and brought a word and gave me direction and, and some peace. And this altar, this small little setup here is not enough to honor her. But it is heartfelt. And it's what I have available. And I know she loves anything from me. <laughs> so, it is definitely something that's really good for me. I tell you this in every video. You are not alone. When a loved one passed away, you are not alone. You are not alone. You don't have to be... afraid to put an altar up to talk to your loved one you don't have to feel like it's satanic or demonic or it's not of god or you know i have to say this in my video still even after i've been recording altar talk for over a year almost no it's been over two years now two years i still have to say it because people don't understand it and I don't make videos for people that do understand it. I make it for people that don't understand it. When you lose a loved one, you feel alone. I, I knew that if I lost my mom and my grandmother and the people who raised me, I was going to feel completely alone. I told everybody, I'm going to shave my head, become a monk, take an oath of silence. I'm running to the mountains. I'm not going to say nothing for five years. <laughs> That's what I, that was the plan. That was plan A, B, and C. That was the plan. But before my mom passed, I just started awakening. I, I woke up in the age of Aquarius. That's when I woke up. That's when my gland opened for me. That's when I realized that things were not what they have been. And that's when I realized I have more insight into things and power than I thought. 
So once she passed, I was already on the right path. So I could continue communication with her and I don't have to feel like I'm completely alone in this world. Some of you are out here grieving so bad, you are crying out for rocks yourself. They don't even have to cry out for you. And if you don't know what crying out for rocks are, you need to look that up. So, you know, don't grieve so much where it takes you to the grave. Get a hold of yourself. Make a promise to yourself that you're going to do everything you can. And just live. Live your life. Communicate with your ancestors and your loved ones. And let them know how you feel. All right. So I'm going to close this. I told you guys I made uh, two videos earlier. Uh, because my phone cut off. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and um, try to merge these, merge these three videos together. Uh, peace and blessings to you. If you have any questions, you all can email me at ascrasclosett at gmail.com. I'm Astra Closet, Astra's Closet on Instagram, and I am on Facebook. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you.